To communicate with the GS4 drive via Ethernet IP or Modbus TCP, you'll need to install the optional COM card. There's one for Ethernet IP and a different one for Modbus TCP. They both look like this, so make sure you order the correct one. Make sure there's no power to the drive and remove the keypad and the covers. I'm using an A-frame size drive, so your setup might look a little different, but you will see something that looks like this under the covers. The COM card goes in this slot to the right of the 3-in-1 firmware update card. These relay contacts can have 250 volts on them, so an insulator is provided with the COM cards for your protection. Fully seat the COM card until the clips snap into place and secure it with the supplied screws. Insert your Ethernet cord into the RJ45 connector, replace the covers and the keypad, and apply power to the drive. Let's verify the card installation. Go to parameter 944. If you installed the card correctly, the GS4 drive will recognize it and show it to you here. I installed the Ethernet IP card and sure enough the drive sees that card. If I installed the Modbus TCP card, it would say that here. Parameter 945 is the card's firmware version. Please, make sure you're using the most recent firmware version. Firmware updates are always free at the Automation Direct website and are located under Downloads, Firmware. Your firmware version is the first thing support's going to ask you when you call, so make sure you test your drive with the most recent version before you call tech support. Now I'm doing this video pre-release and this is an Ethernet IP card, so don't be surprised if your version number is different than this pre-release version I'm using here. And while you're at it, the drive firmware version is located here. Be sure to check that too. There are separate videos that show you step by step how to update the firmware for all of the different drive components. Again, please make sure all of these are kept up to date. Great, the COM card's installed, we verify that the drive sees it, and all of the firmware versions are up to date. Check out these videos to see how to configure the communications, these videos to verify the communications, and these videos for live demos that show you how to verify things are working the way you expect. Click here to learn more about the GS4 drive, click here to learn about AutomationDirect's free support options, and click here to subscribe to AutomationDirect's YouTube channel so you'll be notified when new videos are published.